Africa will start all Nigerian market. The NSC All Share Index closed at 37,794.75 points with a loss of 0.58%. Now, Dangote Cement led the gainers chart with a gain of 1.8%, while others were Unilever, Oando, UBN, and Cadbury. Well, Nestle led the losers list, while others were Guarantee, Okomo Oil, Nascon, and Total. Well, for more on Nigeria's equities market performance, I'm joined by Babajide Sholanke. Now, Babajide Sholanke is a research analyst for Lagos. and research and strategy at FSGH Merchant Bank. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Babajide. Now, the market went down by 0.58% to 3,000%. 737,000 rather, 794.7 points today, while the market um, gained about 1% in aggregate this week. Can we get your take on these numbers? Um, thank you for having me. Um, as I said, the market did lose today, but um, we shouldn't take away the fact that we had some appreciation during the week um, in, some, in some categories of stock. Anyway, it's just expected that we should have this intermediate in between period profit taking because we have, we have had significant appreciation in most share prices, and most share prices are trading far, far beyond fundamentals. So we will continue to see this um, intermittent profit taking as people continue to take profit and rebalance portfolio to take cognizance of current valuation. Well, you just mentioned we'll continue to see profit taking, and how long do you see this being sustained? Um, I, I, I think we'll continue to see this in the next one to two months until we begin to see um, more, more clarity concerning bank earnings going forward for the many half of the year. All right, now over, over now to low cap stock. Now, Vitafoam saw revenue rise 15% to 8.8 .8 billion naira, while profits after tax climbed 21% to 407 million naira. Now, what are your thoughts on this number? Is there any impact on the markets from, you know, from what we got from Vitafoam? Um, well, Vitafoam result is good. I mean, the market did actually rehab uh, because the stock actually gained uh, about 5% uh, at, at the end of this trading. The market did rehab, but that stock is a very low cap stock and um, its impact on the market is, is, is very negligible. As I said earlier on, the market did receive the results you know, uh, well, and, and you can see that in the share price going up um, you know, day between day. Oh, well, now, Owendo gained 6.73% and closed at 16 naira 65 kobo. It has gained about 8.47% this week. Now, it's currently trading at its highest level since April the 9th. Now, what's your take on that stock? And for Owendo, um, I... I as I've always mentioned in my own opinion, I think the stock has value going forward. And there's no clarity, you know, in terms of um, people having a clear understanding of what the company has for the future. And the company has made effort, significant effort, coming to the bars, the manner of the company, coming to the legislature to explain what they're doing and the plans for the future, which are probably very robust. But again, a, a factor that has weighed down on that stock performance in the terms of unresolved petroleum industry bill and what happens to investment and 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 that's the in, that, in the downstream sector of the oil industry and the stock still offers significant uh, significant upside potential going forward as, as as but as i've said uh they have the depth in the books of the of of of, of the of the, of, of the company um kind of makes people weary of, of of what they should expect from them but by and large depth in itself is not a bad thing and the company has you know after using this depth actually has found capacity and, and grow its handles but i said a major snag is that the fact that the petroleum industry bill is unresolved and it's a terrible. People are actually looking beyond that. Uh, but beyond that, but what's happened to Orlando is what's happened generally in the stock market. It's not because um, of anything peculiar, but there's so much liquidity in the system, so much liquidity, and this liquidity just finding the nearest stock to hang on to. And that is the reason why the stock is actually really going up right now. All right. And just before you go now, Sky Bank um, declined by 3.06% and closed at about 4 naira 75 kobo. It has also declined by 6.31% this week. And it's currently trading at its lowest since January the 2nd. Do you think this is a stock for the bargain hunters? Yeah, it is a very good stock in our opinion for the bargain hunters. Um, the Sky Bank is the bank that has grown its balance sheet and is ready um, to, and it's currently expanding um, its, its risk assets and, 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 and growing its earnings. Um, I just think it's just as I mentioned earlier, we have, we've had significant appreciation in share prices yesterday. Over 80 stocks have gained more than 20 percent, you know, beating all kinds of benchmarks that you can use, whether inflation, whether return on fixed income or alternative asset classes. So it's just rational that people take profit and come back in some time or the other. But as you rightly mentioned, I agree with you, Skype for me still remains a bag of like Post Bank and Flower Mills. All right, well,